All right, the room is done. Did I even show that to you? I have no memory of this. All right, so I like a lot of butter, not tons, but you know, butter and olive oil and garlic. That's underneath this baby. And uh, get that all seared up a little bit. They say don't burn beef because it causes what's called uh, carcinogens in your body and that causes cancer. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm getting everything organized. I love it when the labels are out and this is like a hot mess as they would say. And so all the church uh, cans that they gave to me a while ago, but they're still good. I'm gonna put in here and I have a ton of, see that right there, that's all filled. I have a ton of them over there at the table filled with um, candles galore, like kids candles and birthday cakes and see all the garlic, oh yeah. And um, I'm gonna separate all the candles and the numbers, you know, the number candles and uh, just like all, the, I collect all like the little rings that you see, like, uh, you know, happy birthday or little ghosts or little hearts. I, I collect them on off different cakes that we have had in the past. And I have a ton of them now, so I can decorate a cake any way I want now. It's awesome. So I'm going to separate because I have everything in the bag. All right, everything underneath here, I call it my down below. If I say to the kids, it's down below, they know what I mean. This is my pantry. All right, so I turn the heat down on low, and I'm going to put a little water in this too, just like I did the chicken. And then to keep it nice and moist, we're going to cover it, set it, and forget it. And we're going to put it on low, low, low. Okay? And we're going to let that sit while I go sort. I don't have spaghetti sauce made, and I don't really like buying it, um, you know, already made. Not all the time, you know. Once in a blue moon, I, supp I suppose. But right now, I want to put this in the microwave. I just took... I'm, I don't want to wait, right? Oops. Um... I took some mozzarella cheese and some oregano, garlic, and basil, and some grated cheese. And I, if I had, you know, this is just like a quick thing for me to eat right now. Healthy fat. It's going to, um, it's not grass-fed cow or anything like that. So that would be the ultimate, right? Because that is what's best. So let's check it out. I don't want to show you, show you the inside of my microwave at the moment. Yeah, so we're going to let this harden. This would be awesome with onions on it, mushrooms. But if this is like a right now, like it's got to go down now. I could actually, you know what? Mm, no, I can't even cut up onions because there's no space. And I'm not dealing with that right now. I haven't even watched the mass yet, as I was telling Sarah, my daughter. Bon appetito, Wikito. Mm -hmm. Have you had this? You know what I used to like to do? This is a mini mukbang. Um, I used to like taking tortilla wraps, right? The burrito wraps. Put all this in there. Oh, but the problem is, I, I would do one and then this and then a layer of another burrito. Too many carbs, man. No, no, no. Mmm. It's just cheese and herbs. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. I gotta show you guys how to make a keto pizza and I don't need a cauliflower. No, 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 no. It's so good that when I had a party here for Christmas a couple of years ago, the men that arrived at the house who have no idea about this keto business, they would just sit in the kitchen eating away at it. I was like, you like it? They're like, yeah, it's really good. You can make it Partay. All right, let me get busy. What are, you, what, are you, what are you making me talk to you for? Come on already. What are you doing? All right, see? Now to save money, we are giving the dryer a big break because the uh, electricity around here is full-blown because of that sub pump. So I did get a lot of stuff done today, boy. Oh, boy. I cleaned out the, the playroom where my sister was, getting that ready for the new people to come in eventually. I um, cleaned out the pantry. I did outside with the pipes and oh my gosh, so many things. Okay. And I even had time to watch my son play some hockey there. And I don't know what else. 
Oh yeah, I made this beautiful lentil. Ugh, lentil, it is so good. I don't, I can't eat that. I had a, a tiny, 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 like a couple of teaspoons just to taste it. Um, making the steak. Um, getting all, I got all this organized. I cleaned up all my sister's stuff. Full blown speed ahead today. I'm all dishuffled. I rolled off the couch today. That's all I did. I did not take care of myself at all. I may have brushed my teeth, but you know what? I don't hear that humming noise anymore. I know you hear the radio, but usually it's so, mm, I can hear it, it hurts. I don't hear it anymore. That's strange. All right, let me go put all this stuff away in the cabinet and I will show you what I did. All right, so we have a bite here. Who did that bite? And what did you say? Is it is it good? What tell me tell me what you just said. It's what? Good and crunchy? No buttery and crunchy. What'd you say? Good and crunchy? Oh, see, remember when we broiled it up? Well, I gotta actually can I see your thumb? So that way there it's proof. Oh, there's a second bite. I think that's plenty of proof. She doesn't want to be on video right now. So I cut this up small and then I douse it with pepper, but you know what? I'm not gonna do that right now because my daughter has you know, stomach, belly issues. So we'll leave that alone with the pepper for now and we'll do it individually. So I like to cut it up small and then I'll put this back on and just let it sit and it will get tender. You think the longer it cooks, I think the longer it cooks on low, like a crock pot, then it gets softer. If you're gonna like, you know, totally put it up high and try to do that, I don't think you're gonna get the same thing. Okay, so here we are. I got all my tunas and my chicken stuff over there. I got beans in the back since they're not, you know, mostly eaten all the time. That's like the soups and whatever. So everything I know I'm going to use sooner, right? And um, the fruity stuff on this side, right? And some of the larger containers over here. Actually, you know what? See this here? I have... What are you talking about? Okay. So, I have so many toothpicks. I have so many toothpicks that I, all this here, everything you see here is going down below in a box that I have for spices. All this here is extra or stuff I don't use often. Okay, so what I did was I took over here. Oh, Rachel, here, you can have this. This is um, for your Polaroid camera. Yeah, okay, so here's all Italian. Italian, Mexican, and fall. And then um, the larger containers and all my like protein, wheatgrass. This here is great nutritional yeast. Dr. Berg loves this. And uh, so yeah, I didn't, I, there's my cookbooks up there. That's all Sarah's cooking stuff. And I actually, I gave her her own little cabinet down here because we used to keep up the sugars up high and everything. She got all her baking needs there, see? Pretty good. Okay, so I like to put these in a basket, little tiny basket that I have, and fill it with french fries or whatever it is, and a burger or whatever, and then so. Hide this one, Seth. Yeah, we have to hide things around here, and it still doesn't work. So, um, yeah, and these. Hey, look, we each got one of these, but you can have them all if you want them. All of them? I don't know. No one else is eating them. <laughs> No, I'm not going to go. Hmm, I'm going to say, that's wonderful. You want some poison, little girl? Okay, so, um, yeah, so that way there, everything's like a treat. Everything's like a, you know, an experience, okay? So, it's fun. You don't always have to buy containers, 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 right? So, I'm always using boxes for everything. See this here? Okay, okay? And I just put all, look at all this. This is all oregano so I just keep everything and I'll show you in a second right in here why do I have to keep on going out and buying stuff oh the whole idea is so you might say well I got enough money it's fine what you want to go to work every day for the rest of your life and just keep working no we want to pay off our debts whatever you have okay mine are gonna be different than yours and voila Everything fits beautifully, even my toothpicks I'll put in there. Okay, are we having fun? <laughs> Look, see? And then that goes under, that goes down below. I'll be back. 
Okay, so I have, I don't know where to put this. And I really don't like the way it looks, you know. I mean, I know I get them out there, but I really like the way these look. So, guess what? Okay. There we go. I love round onions, especially in a soup. Or in, like, say you're having potatoes, and you put them in, whoa, in the oven. See? And now, hopefully I'll know what that, what that is. It looks like garlic. It smells like onions. All right, so I can even label that. See? Isn't that great? It looks so much better. And then I'll show you what I, where I put it. All right, so here's my little area. Let's see. I'm gonna make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. All right. Dill, we got basil. See, these three are my absolute oregano, basil, and garlic. This is all my Italian area. This is cinnamon, which I never hardly use, except if I'm baking something maybe. And dill, I actually use that a lot. That's excellent. If you put dill in your lentil soup, oh man, it's excellent. I know a lot of people don't like things on their counters, but I personally, I do so much cooking that or I used to, I should say, um, when Mr. Fry was here that I just wanted everything really handy. So I enjoy everything here. There's all my, it's hard to, it's a little dark, I'm sorry. Those are all my, why can't I think, why? What is that? Oh my, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Sarah? Oh, extracts, Never mind. All right, so these are my extracts. And um, the thing is, See the, the container that it's in right now? That was my very first, when I got married, I put that on the list for, um, you know, for your, your utensils, okay? So I thought, I really don't want to throw it out. I don't need any more because we are doing single, they're all empty right now because they're in there. Uh, you know, different spaces for different people, little cubby holes, right? They get their own fork, own spoon, own dish, own bowl like that. And so I didn't need all of those forks and everything. So the thing is, I thought, what a perfect thing for me to do and to use that. I mean, I know sometimes I have to lay it on the side like that, but look, you got everything. What, what's wrong with that? And I love having everything handy. Bing, bang, boom. I hate opening the cabinets over and over again. You know why? It's right there. Hey. Okay, also, I'm saving these empty cans, empty these, the little tiny ones, coffee cans, so that I can put, because one day I'm going to go down the basement and there's a bowl of just nails and screws and different types and different shapes, so I'm going to go on the table one day and just sort them all out. Pretty good, huh? Why buy containers? Why? Why? I already did. I, I really have no memory of me showing you this room before. Okay, it's very empty, as you see, except all of that, which is going to my sister's place. But, yeah, these are the curtains I bought, and I noticed that they are very um, thick and keeps the cold out and the light out. But um, if I pull too much, then it doesn't meet... You know what I mean? It's going to go that way. So I have to buy, instead of buying another one, which I don't have, I'll just get something similar and just put it in the middle, right? Pretty good, huh? And this whole entire thing was given to me. Like, how exciting is that, right? And um, I'll get a side table, a lamp and all that. And, you know, I got that for free uh, years and years ago. So, and, you know, a person that would love to be in this big room, right? How fun is that? All that space, you know, and then one day, if I must, I'm hoping not, but put a wall right smack in the middle, one room, other room, good to go. Hallway, hey. <laughs> so, thought I'd show you. It's pretty good, right? I, I'm trying. Right. right. So, I cut my pieces really small, don't mind me, and I love it when it's all, whoa, covered with pepper. Right, are we ready? I did already pray, just to let you know. Do you guys know the prayer? Sorry, I was born backwards. 
So I talk backwards. Hmm. See? Hmm. Keeping it covered really helps. Keep that water in there on low. Um, the meal prayer goes, so you bless yourself with your right hand. And the reason why we use our right hand, if you have one, if you don't, use the left. So use the right hand and you say, Bless us, O Lord, in these thy gifts, which we are about to receive from thy bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. And add more pepper. You know something? I learned from Mr. Fry that if you want to talk, you take a bite of something first, and then you talk. <laughs> but pepper does make you sneeze. It's like a real thing. All right. I think I'm going to end it here. It's 6 o'clock. We went and went and went and went all day long. We functioned. And now we're resting. We're going to eat this. Have something very green and wonderful. I have not had sugar since the day after Christmas. Okay? So, it's wonderful. And um, there's always something to do, so go do it. And we'll see you next time. And remember, please pray for Mr. Fry. God is good all the time. And may the Lord be with you. Amen. Now we do the Catholic Mass. Because of the virus, you're allowed to watch it on TV, and only so many people can go to the Mass, so we watch it. Now we're going to read the Word of God. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn King of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, and you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people, Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word, that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king they set out, and behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star. And on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. Verbum